Okay, now this is the next little step. And I'm going to do some work on the celluloid on this grill. So on this bit here there's a, a little bit missing and there's a bit here that's kind of peeling off. So what I'm going to do is I've got an old key that I don't longer need and as luck would have it this mother of pearl celluloid well it's not mother of pearl but it's mother of pearl look uh, is this, it's pretty much the same shade and uh, I think that works really well there you go. so what I'm going to do is just peel off the plastic from this key just wood and plastic so I can just peel up and take the wood away that might be useful for something else and so I've got the celluloid um, ready and so I'll, I'm going to cut this out and stick it on but first of all I need to make a, um, a tracing of the pattern of the what I need to cut so just give me a second I'll just get some tracing paper okay so I've got some West well, baking paper but the same kind of thing as tracing paper so this bit here it's it's cracked and it's discoloured so I've actually it's quite a nice line so that's actually come off quite well so what I'm going to do is just tidy up a line on here with the craft knife so it's got a nice straight edge to put the new piece against and then I'm going to get my tracing paper and I'm going to just mark out the outline of what I need and then if I cut, cut this out, and I'm going to cut it out just a little bit bigger than the line so that I can offer it up and just make sure that what I've cut is going to work. So I'm just going to just trim it a bit more until I've got a nice fit. There we go. So it's just a bit long. Just trim that bit there. Now we'll put this on. Maybe just a shade, 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 shade shorter. Only. there we go so now if I cut that out stick it on there that should give me a nice finish so what I'm going to do now is to put it on here and I'm going to just draw around it on the celluloid so just hold it in place I'll keep it in the same place, a bit fiddly. 
Maybe I should have taped it. lines so hopefully right so now I've got my outline on here so I'm just going to put that in the vise and just carefully with a little junior hacksaw shape that I'll show you when I've cut it out okay so I've got the piece of celluloid and I've shaped it so it's going to fit on like this if I turn it around T gonna fit on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it and clamp it and then I'm gonna sand it back because it's make it a bit more flush with the existing so a little bit's going to look quite nice. So all I need to do is find some super glue because that works really well with plastics and celluloids, and also will stick to wood. So that's going to be a good, a good choice. So I'm going to get some super glue, and I'm just going to make sure I don't get it on my hands. Make sure I cover. Okay, so offer it up, get it just where you want it to be, which is just there. I'm just going to get, there yeah, that's kind of holding itself now, so I'm just going to get a clamp. There. And one there, and I'm going to leave that to clamp up for a bit, uh, until I can do some finishing off of that. So I'm just going to just put the lid back on the glue there for a second and then once I've done that one I'll have a little go on the other one I'll do it in exactly the same way so I'll just draw around it with tracing paper draw around the, the bit that's missing with tracing paper cut out a template draw that onto the celluloid cut it out and clamp it so I'll show you I'll show you what this looks like when it's finished being clamped oh key -key -key. so I've stuck the piece of cellular I've actually put another little bit on as well just because there's a little little bit, bit missing so it looks a bit ugly at the moment but what I'm going to do I'm going to start sanding it and then neatening it all up um, I've got the other one stuck on as well so what I'm going to do is get some sandpaper so I've got uh, what have I got here 180 I've got some 400 and I've got some finer and finer grade going all the way up to 5,000. So I'm going to go right up and get it really nice and smooth. So I'll start with my 180 and I just work my way up and see how smooth I can get this. So once I've finished sanding it all down, I'll, uh, I'll show you where. Okay, so that's my first side done. So that's neating that up nicely. So it's all kind of feeling quite smooth and flush. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing for that side and uh, get that ready. I'll show you when that's done. Okay, so here we are. So I've done... I'll just bring up a little bit. I've done both 
sides so it's looking a lot nicer so that's good so the next step is I'm going to take the grill cloth off because this has had its time actually it comes off really easily it's quite dirty you can kind of see the colour difference of what it would have started like and what it ended up as uh, and once I've got all that off I'm just going to go and give it a scrub with some soap and water and just get rid of any little greasy marks and sticky stuff on there so I'm going to give a little little scrub up and then I'm going to find some grill cloth and stick it on and see what that looks like so I'm going to give it a clean up and I'll come back right now um it does look a lot better having a little bit of a little clean and so yeah it just kind of made it look really nice actually now the next step is to get a grill cloth behind it and I've got this cross stitch fabric which is, works really well because it's got holes in it which allows the air through but it also looks really nice so when it goes through it will look something like this so what I'm going to do is if I just angle that down a little bit like that is just offer it up and I'm going to cut a bit I, I've, I've got a little bit a little bit short in length here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut this and then I'm going to just cut one more little strip and just carefully fix it and hopefully it won't be too visible so I'm just going to do some marking and cutting and then I'll stop gluing okay so we've got the little bit of cloth ready and I find the the best glue for this is super glue so I'm just going to put little dots of super glue on here um, I just find that that's the best one for so just evenly spaced some dots super glue on the aluminium I just find that, that that's the one that works the best so it'll be quite quick because super glue will start to dry but there we are So, so now I can just offer this up. Just gotta hold it. A second or two. That glue attach. Let's give that a chance to just dry slightly and that will hold. Hold it all down. And then I'll turn it over. See what it looks like. There we go. That's my grill cloth. Quite happy with that. Just get rid of little bits. Yeah, it's already looking a lot nicer now. So what I might do now is pop the grill back onto the accordion and show you what. 
Okay, so um, I've just put the grill of the accordion. This is what it looks like. Uh, so I think it looks nice. Uh, having that grill cloth makes a huge difference. I'll just dip it out like that if you can see. It makes a huge difference to the way the accordion looks. Uh, it just looks really tidy. In fact, if I bring the camera around, let's see if I can just do this a minute. There we go. So that's what it looks like now. Uh, there you go. So just having a nice fresh grill, grill cloth on there does make the accordion just look really nice and tidy. So happy with that. So on the next little video I'm going to tackle a bit more body work. I'm going to do um, the base panel uh, cloth. I'm going to move the bellows straps so that they fit and um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to make some uh, new shoulder straps and then we'll see see where we are. So thanks for watching.